Dear Naomi, I miss you so much. Things are so different without you. I'm so angry at myself for being so oblivious and I should have done so much more to help you. I had no idea you felt this way. I wish I could have told you that things will get so much better, but you were gone before I even had the chance to. I wrote you this letter to put all my feelings onto paper and to tell you how much I miss you, even though I know you won't ever get to read it. I have so much to tell you, but so little at the same time. All I can say is that everything feels strange. School is by far the strangest. I usually sit alone now. I'm not looking forward to this summer because last summer was the best. We spent almost every day with each other and now that you're gone, well, I, I guess I'll stay inside. I printed every photo we took that summer. I never want to forget it. Dear Naomi, this photo was taken just two months before you committed. You look so happy here. Well, so I thought. I never even knew you were going through a rough patch in your life. I can't help but blame myself. The thought keeps me up at night and I've told my therapist. That's right, my parents finally put me into therapy. She says I shouldn't feel guilty, but I can't help it. I feel overwhelmed by guilt because you, Naomi, you always pushed me through life's toughest obstacles. And when I'd swing back to old habits, you'd give me an even bigger push to strike higher and higher and tell me that the sky is the limit. You always said that, and I loved it when you did because it made me feel like I could accomplish anything. I was so focused on me that I forgot to think that maybe you were in need of a push too. And that's my biggest regret. Dear Naomi, this is the last photo we took together, two days before you left the earth behind. Looking back, it didn't seem like anything was bothering you. You did seem distracted, but I just thought it was because you were moving house soon, and I thought nothing more of it. That was the last time I saw you alive, and I didn't even know it. God, I didn't even know. I was so caught up in my own minuscule problems, I didn't even stop and ask how you were holding up. If only I knew. Things could have been so much different to the way they are now. So, so, so much different. Dear Naomi, I know this seems to be more of an apology letter, but that's all I feel. I'm dealing with grief and anger. Lots and lots of anger. I should have texted you that Sunday night when you hadn't responded all day. I should have asked how you were holding up or how you were feeling towards the whole moving situation. You always seem to have taken things with such great strength and I felt like I didn't have to say anything. But if your death has taught me anything, it's that nobody should feel alone or isolated in this world. No matter their age, their race, their religion, they should never have to feel alone. Dear Naomi, this is you on your 15th birthday. You had your whole life ahead of you and yet you're gone. Your death, it, it seems so surreal. I never did find out what you wished for that day. Well, that was until I found a piece of paper under your bed when I came to your wake. I wish I understood.